the benefits of red wine. And we got 10 for you today. Hi, I'm Angie. Thanks for joining me here at Life Squared. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. The benefits of red wine. Yeah, we got 10. How awesome is that? We want to tell you that um, you must drink in moderation. Drinking too much red wine will be counterproductive to the positive benefits. What is the recommended alcohol each week for anyone? Um, this last time they say five glasses per week. That's for a man or a woman. Um, always before they've had one number for men, one number for women. This time it's five glasses of red wine. If you drink something else, look it up. You can Google it. But um, do drink in moderation. They definitely would want you to take two days off a week from drinking. We quit drinking alcohol um, about six or eight months ago uh, because both of us were gonna undergo surgery, a small surgery. And so you heal better without alcohol. So I'm still not drinking and neither is my husband. Um, I just had surgery four weeks ago. So on my neck, so um, I'm still not having alcohol. That's why I'm not enjoying a glass of wine here. So number one, red wine is high in antioxidants. Yeah, that's awesome. Great for your cellular health. Number two, it keeps your heart healthy. And yes, red wine is healthier than white wine. We're talking about red wine. Number three, it lowers bad cholesterol. Very important. Uh, too much bad cholesterol can be detrimental to your heart health. So anything you can do to lower cholesterol, yeah, do it. Number four, it reduces the risk of cancer. Again, I want to remind you that that's within that five glasses per week of red wine. If you drink 10 glasses, you're gonna have so much alcohol that it's gonna take away that cancer benefit and put you into another category because drinking too much alcohol does contribute to cancer. Number five, it helps regulate blood sugar. Diabetes, especially type two diabetes, is a growing epidemic in the United States. So when you can eat or drink and help your blood sugar, you're certainly adding to your overall health benefits. Number six, it helps sharpen your memory. Yes, again, that's if you stay within the limits. If you have too much alcohol, that goes the other way and does damage to your memory. So you definitely have to stay within five glasses per week. Number seven, it helps you stay slim. Why? Because it curbs your appetite. Number eight, it helps with the symptoms of the common cold. Now, what I find very interesting about this is coronavirus is partly one of the components of the virus is the common cold. The common cold is a coronavirus. So maybe it could help. I don't think anybody knows yet, but maybe it could. Number nine, it reduces depression. Again, the pandemic has caused an epidemic of depression. Anytime you can have mood boosting foods that help with depression, add those to your diet. And number 10, it helps with digestion. I want to remind you that if you don't drink, we're not suggesting you do because red grapes pretty much have the same benefit. And we also have a vid video on the benefits of red grapes. We'd like to thank your viewers. You guys have been great. Um, 
Keep liking us. Keep subscribing. Recommend us to a friend, especially a friend that needs us, you know? And um, friends out there that complain about inflammation, have them come here. Watch for the placard for the Life Square diet. And thanks again for joining me in the Perfectly Imperfect Kitchen here at Life Square. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.